expression there. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Alika's World. Today I'm going to show you something very exciting and interesting. We have something very interesting growing in our garden for the past five to six months, I believe, yeah, if I'm not wrong. It's time to finally harvest that. I'm not sure if that's the right word, but we're going to do it tonight. And I thought of making a vlog on this before it's too late. I mean, before the light goes out, because it will be happening in the dark and I'm not sure if uh, that will be very clear or not. So here you go. The gold growing in the garden. I hope that's clear. Don't go too near. Uh, it's the size of uh, football, twice the football. We have heard people saying that, you know, Amava's night is uh, very good time for this to be harvested so it's not exactly amavas but then uh, somewhere we have crossed amavas i think and for people who doesn't know amavas it's uh, <laughs> what is that called no moon night <laughs> but uh, i recently got to know amavas through my husband so i just want to keep saying amavas night hello meanwhile now my baby loves chewing on Kata biscuit, his favorite. <laughs> hey, hey, that. Not any kata biscuit, but kata biscuit from Moko. Yeah, I just want to keep my hands like this. <laughs> so, please bend down a little bit. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, so just want to roam around like this. It's been quite a while. Yeah. Both my arms are dying. I actually need a tripod. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> we have to adjust. <laughs> I just want to wish you a happy anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> Why has this vlog suddenly becoming an anniversary vlog? <laughs> happy anniversary. Second anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> huh? Didn't, it didn't even reach my surf <laughs> skin. Oh. Didn't even touch my surface. <laughs> Man, you really have to rub your lips on the forehead to feel the kiss. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> that was quite you, but and also fine. guys, please ignore the transition. I know it's funny. I I don't know why I did that. I did because I just you know wanted to follow the trend. <laughs> Hello. Mm -hmm. don't have a proper gear then it's better not to wear too much of clothes because it is dangerous if the hornet gets inside your body it's not only going to sting but it's going to pick a chunk of flesh from your body since it's winter it's cold I'm just wearing this jacket cap that uh, we got from uh, our honeymoon. honeymoon trip also I have this uh, snow gloves I'm, I'm using this glove because it is thick when we got the hornet's nest last time we used kerosene and we burned uh, a piece of sackcloth and we we burned the whole nest I had a few sting as well and I'm uh, scared actually <laughs> I hope it doesn't sting me this time. A brother of mine gave me the idea to bag up the whole nest. 
So I've got my tools ready. This is the sack that I'm going to bag it with. And this is the branch cutter. I think this is going to be enough because the branches are small. Mm. So let's go and get it. So we have a slight change in the plan. Earlier the sack was a little bit smaller so we decided to get on the bigger one. Let's see how it goes. Are you ready? Yeah, of course. I was ever ready. <laughs> Thank God we made it. <laughs> I was actually shaky and nervous. <laughs> Good job. And then we did it and we did it together. Yeah. Couldn't have done it alone. <laughs> but the next thing is to put this in warm water. Yeah. The bee is uh, the buzzing. <laughs> I've never tried this before, so I was quite nervous. What if it doesn't work out as planned? What if the bee breaks through the bag? Too many questions. Can I see your face? <laughs> we are all good. Not even a single bite. Yeah, not even a single bee could escape. And the good thing is the whole nest is intact. By the way, even if it's dead, mm. it will sting you if you touch it in the wrong place. So yeah. let me take a peek at how things are. <sighs> I see the real thing. This one? Yeah. It's dead. I got to eat it, Pavla. Hive. Momo. Stack. Momo, he. Maggot. It's not maggot. Yeah. Baby bee. Mm. Wow. It's a little bit broken. Yeah. Mm. But the steam has really got inside, so I think it should be fine. We have six tags and on there, three are totally empty. One is like not even one fourth. One is full and the other one is small one. So here, this is what we 
god excuse the car hi guys it's all black it's almost around two kgs now i'm in a preparation to cook this roasting the chilies uh, because this roasting flavor it makes the bee or any curry more flavorful that's what i believe and some mashed garlic which is gonna here. put bamboo shoot bamboo shoot water salt to taste and then uh ginger that's it very simple i'm just gonna show you how we will begin this so let's get started if you know how to make um, fish in a local style it's very similar to that it's just that we don't add tomato that's yeah um not we i don't add tomato to this so to begin with i'm just gonna pour in a little bit of mustard oil not much just a little bit and the chopped garlic my chili has been roasted and this is long sa chili if you all know or familiar or are familiar of that it's a local local chili so i'm just gonna let it cool down salt as per your taste bamboo shoot water I will also mash this bamboo shoot because mine is a bigger one. I made this at home and it's all black. Excuse me, it's a little it's black actually, yeah. It got oxidized. I'll mash this. My chilies have cooled down, so I'm gonna put this as well. I'll have to wash my hands properly because I will I will be attending the baby. Simple but then you know sometimes simple dish becomes very exotic. Items here in Nagaland, you know, if people if there are people watching outside of Nagaland or North East, It's a very expensive and very exquisite cuisine we Naga people enjoy or we notice people enjoy but then be please be careful because not everyone not everybody you know accepts every person's body accept this because some you know they tend to get an allergy so that's the reason we also put in uh, ginger in order to cut down any kind of allergies tendency of allergies to be developed i think i'm adding too much chili That's fine. like this i'll give it a good mix put in a little bit of water and then start cooking Let me show you the final look how it looks i don't want to give it a steer because you know i'm afraid all these things might burst out i'm gonna put in the water not too much water just a b level you can keep on adding water later on once it dries up now put it on the stove and then we'll start cooking this is it guys here we'll start cooking put it on the stop that 
that's it now i'll i'll keep showing you how it is from time to time and then um i hope you enjoy this video so my baby woke up and i had to attend him he got his work done and here's an update on the curry yet i'm gonna put this uh, fresh ginger leaves i've also put in the ginger so far it's smelling good it's looking good i really like the <sighs> fragrance of these leaves it takes me back to my old um, to our old grandma's kitchen this is how it is going on i think i added a little bit too much of water it's gonna take some time for this to dry down but then uh, it's coming out great i couldn't complete the video of uh, the bee because meanwhile my family members came and then it was uh, it became difficult for me to vlog at the same time because i had to attend them also look after the baby and it was uh, quite a chaos at home but then um, this is the end of the video i'll post a picture for you guys so you can have a look at that it's similar and thank you so much for watching the video please like share subscribe and keep supporting on my channel